This course requires you to use refereed or peer-reviewed sources in your paper and presentation. In many cases, refereed sources are also scholarly sources. Have you ever had a colleague or friend read your paper before you turned it in? You probably wanted to make sure the paper made sense, that you presented your facts correctly, and that the paper was of acceptable quality. Refereed and peer-reviewed journals work on the same principle. A refereed or peer-reviewed source is one in which information is published only after it's been reviewed by several other experts in that subject area. Usually, authors submit their articles to the particular journal whose editor then selects other scholars or peers in the respective academic field represented by the article's topic. These experts may or may not be otherwise affiliated with the journal, and reviews are often done anonymously. Based in part on the evaluations returned, the editors then determine which articles will be published. The editor informs authors whether their submitted article will be accepted with no revisions, this is extremely rare, accepted with revisions, or rejected, which, in the case of higher quality journals, the majority of submissions fall into this category. The reviewers check for quality, scientific accuracy, biases, research methodology, and numerous other qualities associated with the particular field. This is what makes science so strong. Rigorous review of published research assures you of acceptable and scholarly information. A word of caution here. Non-peer-reviewed information can be found in peer-reviewed journals. These are articles that reach publication based entirely on the opinions or judgment of a journal's editor. These cannot be used as primary sources. Examples include editorials, opinion editorials, letters to the editor, book reviews, or article reviews. You must make sure that your articles are from peer-reviewed journals. Here are some tips to help you determine if a journal contains peer-reviewed articles. Consult the instructions for authors or, con or contributions, usually found at the beginning or end of each issue, or on the journal's website. These instructions will inform you of the process the journal uses to publish articles submitted by authors, and will usually mention whether or not articles are reviewed by peers. The ASU Library Guide contains some helpful hints for determining whether a journal is peer-reviewed. On the Internet, you can also check the journal title in Ulrich's International Periodicals Directory, which lists journals of all types and classifies them. You may do a title search for the journal title and look for a refereed symbol. The primary literature module also contains a comparison of various literature sources handout. To summarize the information in this series of presentations about sources of information, primary literature, also referred to as peer-reviewed, has been critically reviewed by other experts in the field. These sources provide evidence that the authors produced in order to address a specific hypothesis or goal. In contrast, secondary literature retells and evaluates information from primary sources. In many cases, these sources are not peer-reviewed. While secondary sources are helpful at explaining and interpreting the primary literature, they are not primary literature. Both primary and secondary sources appear in journals that range from popular magazines to scholarly ones. Please keep in mind that scholarly journals contain a mixture of primary and secondary sources. So just because an article is in a scholarly journal does not mean that it is a primary source. You should use the information from this presentation along with the resources from the library to help you determine whether you have found a primary or secondary source.